Hi, it's me, Jojo. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video about all things Missouri. And toward the end of that video, the topic of Missouri's flag came up. This is a really busy seal. I, I hate it. It's I agree. so much happening. I agree. Okay. I wish we just had like this moon and the buffalo thing that's happening. Or yeah. our state animal. Can you imagine how cool our flag would be if it just had a mule on it? Oh. That would like be a that. better flag than this. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's change let's change it. Okay. Let's make a petition to make change it happen. our ugly flag. I think we do need a new flag design. Since making that video, I have been introduced to the field of vexillology. Yeah, vexillology. And that is the study of flags or flag design. And within vexillology, isn't that kind of fun to say? There are basic principles that define what makes a good flag. So I would like to put Missouri's flag through the test of the vexillological principles. <laughs> I would like to put Missouri's flag through the ringer, the gauntlet, if you may, of these vexillological principles to determine why Missouri's flag isn't so great. So before I dissect the flag, I'll give you some basic history about it. Missouri's flag was adopted in 1913. So Missouri became a state in 1821. This flag was adopted about 90 years later, 1913, and was designed by a woman named Mrs. Marie Elizabeth Watkins Oliver. Now she was the wife of a state senator. So that's how she got the in to put this flag design forward. Now, since then, the flag has remained unchanged. So it has now been over a hundred years that this flag has represented Missouri. So with that in mind, let's get into it. Okay, the first of these principles is keep it simple. Our flag fails this right out the gate. We have two sets of 24 stars because Missouri is the 24th state. And that's just kind of superfluous and confusing, right? Are we the 24th state? Are we the 48th state? It's not really clear. We also have not one, not two, but three bears on our flag. Why? And on top of that, everything in the middle is just so small that you have to zoom in to really understand why this was included in the first place. Speaking of why it was included, the second principle is meaningful symbolism. So I'll give the flag a pass on this one. They have just decided to include the Missouri State Seal. The Missouri Seal was actually adopted in 1822. That's right, almost exactly 200 years ago by our state in its first year as a state. And they have just decided for our flag to plant that sucker right in the middle and then be done with it. And that is meaningful symbolism, right? We are featuring a picture that has existed since the first year Missouri has existed as a state. That's pretty cool. The third principle is to keep it to two or three colors. Ugh, we fail on this one. I count six different colors. We have the red, white, and blue. We have brown bears, yellow night circle belt buckle things, and then green adornments. So six colors, fail. The next principle is no letters. We fail again. So around the seal of Missouri, it features text, and then under the seal, it features some Roman numerals, I think. It's the Roman numerals for the year we became a state, a la 1821, but I'm not sure and I, I don't care to check. It's words, I don't want it. And on top of that, probably the biggest component that we fail at is no seals. That's right, the vexillological principles state that we should have no seals on flags. So remember what I said up above for meaningful symbolism? Yikes. Our entire seal is meaningful, yes, but it's the whole seal on our flag. Okay, and the last principle is be distinctive. So even though our flag breaks all of these rules in vexillology, so do most other state flags. So that means our flag is not distinct at all. I mean, think about Colorado's flag. Like it is bold and simple. It features a C, you know that's Colorado. Or think about Maryland's flag. Oh my gosh, it is so striking. You know it must be New England because of those patterns. You recognize that flag as Maryland's flag. But Missouri doesn't have that. Ours just blends into the pack. So summing up all of these principles, there's kind of a basic test that exists to see whether your flag is effective or not. And that is to see if someone can draw your flag from memory. I don't think I could draw this flag from memory and I've been staring at it for days <laughs> leading up to this. There's just too much going on, right? You have the circle of stars, you have stars in it, you have the bears, you have the seal, you have the writing, you have the belt buckle for some reason. And you have to remember, is it red, white, blue? Is it blue, white, red? I'm not really sure. Is it horizontal? Is it vertical? It's just kind of a mess. So here's what I'm thinking. Our flag has existed since 1913 
And I personally think it's time for a new flag. I have written a letter to several Missouri government officials, including our Secretary of State, because this is kind of his domain, our Governor, our Lieutenant Governor, and my two local representatives. And my plan is to mail out this letter tomorrow. I also, I'm going to email them with all the emails that I could find. And my proposal is for them to sponsor a crowdsourced Missouri flag design contest so that we can have a new flag that represents Missouri. With that, I would like to be the first entrant. I have taken the small aspect of the seal featuring a crescent moon and a bear, and I have blown that up to be the entire flag. Our original flag has red, white, blue, but this flag is blue and then red because that better matches what is on the seal. In the middle, there's a white stripe going across the entirety of the flag. And to me, that represents the Missouri River that cuts across the entire state, almost horizontally. And then there are 24 yellow stars because we are the 24th state. So let's go through my flag and see if it follows the vexillological rules. Okay, keep it simple. That to me is pretty simple and I could probably draw this in 30 seconds. The next principle, meaningful symbolism. I have taken our seal and I have blown it up in a way to be the whole flag. Okay, the next principle is two or three colors. Depending on what you view as a color, this one fails. Um, this user has three or four colors if we're counting white as a color. So unfortunately it fails on color, but I don't really mind so much. Next principle is no letters, easy pass. The next one, no seals, another easy pass. And finally, be distinctive. I don't know of any other state flag that looks like this. I know there's a bear and like California is really known for their flag with a bear. And I know South Carolina's flag has like a crescent moon and a palm tree, but the colors are different. The placement of the symbols are different. And I don't think there's any other flag that has a horizontal stripe across all of it. So there you have it. That is my flag. I really think that we need a modern flag for a modern Missouri. And I would like you to join me in this process if you're up for it. I think it would be awesome if you wrote them a letter, if you agree with me. Uh, I will link all of the contacts information below and you can write them an email, you can send them a letter if you feel so uh, determined. And we just need to get the word out that Missouri just needs a new flag. To finish this out, I would like to talk about the state of Maine. Their original flag was adopted in 1901, and it's amazing! It is simple, it has very few colors, and it is so distinctive. However, this flag is not their flag. They have their current flag, which was adopted just eight years later in 1909. If you notice, it features their seal. Well, there is actually a movement right now to revert their flag to the original flag, and I am all for this. And I truly think that even though our flag has represented our state for over a hundred years, just like with Maine, it is okay to change and adopt a new flag that better represents its people of today. That is all I have for you. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. If you have a design, please send it to me. I would love to see it. With that, please like this video and please subscribe for more content. That is all I have and I will see you next week. Bye.